Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class. Vamos a esperar unos minutitos para que se ingresen los otros compañeros. Okay, everybody. Hello, welcome to the class. This Hi. Thursday. Hi. And uh, it's a pleasure to be with you tonight. We're gonna check about the platform first as usual, and then we're going to check the attendance. Okay. So this is the platform. This is the class of tonight. Recordándoles que hay una preguntita por acá que podemos. Um, Poner ahí la respuesta y también hay que hacer la tarea nueve. Esta está fácil, solo es de poner los comandos. Yeah, while we're use cosas por el estilo. Only five questions. También recordarles que para el viernes en la noche tiene que estar hecho ya eh, la, toda la unidad uno y dos y el midterm test. Muy importante porque el sábado de la mañana se envían las notas de insafor. So please remember to finish that, okay? Okay. Vamos ahora sí a chequear, we're going to check the attendance. Let's see. Abel Edenilson Salazar Melara. Abigail Elizabeth Flores Hernández. Carlos Humberto Estrada Escobar. Present teacher. Good. Elia Janira Canizale Blanco. Present teacher. Good. Francisco Ernesto Acuña Rivera. Present teacher. Good. Gabriel Esaú Melara Rosales. Y 
Gisela Beatriz Hernández Morales. Ok, Gisela. Eh, Joana Saraí Maldonado González. Carla Daniela Molina Cruz. Present teacher. Good. Carla Ivania Anaya Ancheta. Present teacher. Good. Carla Lorena Mendoza Guevara. Present. Good. Kevin Ramiro Vázquez Pineda. Present teacher. Good. Laura Guadalupe Fuentes de Meléndez. Marilyn Alejandra Grande Pérez. Present. Good. Mario Ernesto López Ramírez. Present. Good. Mirna Janet Ángel de Castro. Present teacher. Good. Roberto Emilio González Cruz. Santos Cristina Cerritos de Ruiz. Present teacher. Good. Saúl Adalberto Cornejo Valdés. Present. Good. Jocelyn Stephanie Roldán Castaneda. Okay, we are going to start with the class. Nice. Uh, let me just check. Okay. Nice. Okay, so we are going to continue with the book by now. Okay. Vamos siempre en la unidad número dos. Esta conversación nos había quedado pendiente. Lo saltamos porque vamos a ver la gramática de It is not allowed. Entonces ahora arrancamos con esta parte. So, it says in unit one. I will be able to mention rules and prohibitions at my workplace. Okay, and uh, in the number one, it says, let's start. What are some rules in your company? Aha, people, what are some rules in the company? Uh, dress correctly with a uniform. Very good. Dress appropriately and if possible with the uniform. Good. Yeah. Be punctual. Be punctual. Very important. Uh huh. What else? It's allowed to uh, use uh, cell phones. Not allowed to use cell phones. Very good. What else? Mm -hmm. It's not allowed to eat in, in, in the trabajo. Okay, it's not allowed to eat that in the workplace. Very good, perfect. Mm -hmm. Then it says, do you think it is important to follow rules? Why? Uh -huh. Anybody, do you think it is important to follow rules? Yes, teacher. Because uh, in some works, uh, you are um, the fears that the people look of an empresa, of a business. Mm -hmm. So you have to dress correct to talk a polite. Okay, yeah, definitely. I mean, you are very right. I mean, you are the face of a company, right? And uh, the company or the people that come to the company, they want people to be professional, to look Yeah, nice. if I do something wrong, people don't say Daniela is, is okay, unpolite, sino la, la empresa. The company, yeah, that is true. So definitely, you are representing the company and that's why this is very, very important. Good, so we're going to do the conversation. As usual, yo digo, usted chequea el pronunciation. 
Luego pronunciation questions, luego la práctica y luego vocabulary. So, it says, Good morning, Mr. Sia. I want to know about the procedures with the new employee. Well, he cannot continue with us. I see. Is it because of what happened? Yes, he was caught smoking inside the company and it is not allowed. I understand. He knew the values of our company, so there is no excuse. And also, it is not allowed to sleep in work hours. You are right. It is also not allowed to use the cell phone in work hours. Que tremendo. So, do you have pronunciation questions? Mm, yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, when he says, yes, he was caught. 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 Not in the time. Mm. Okay, that's all. I, uh, okay, any other Proce questions? Procedures. 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 Mm -hmm. Hmm. That's all for me. Okay, very good. Perfect. Any other question, everybody? Questions in pronunciation. Teacher. Hay um, donde dice a Jolwet, o cómo se pronuncia ahí. ¿En dónde, perdón? Uh, después de it, it is not allowed. 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 Okay. Good. Any other question on pronunciation? Teacher, proceduras, procedures. 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 Procedures o procedures. 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 Okay, that's all. Of course. Any other pronunciation questions? No, teacher. Okay, so we're going to start the practice. Very good. Uh, we're going to start with Cristina and Elia Janira. Okay. Okay, teacher. Si quiere, empieza usted, Elia. Perfecto. Good morning, Mr. C. I went, I went to know about the procedures uh, with the new employees. Mr. Sea, well, he cannot, cannot continue, continue, continue with us. Us. Perdón. With us. With us. Okay. Usted sigue. Okay. I see it's because of what happened. Yes, was, yes, he was called smoking inside the company and it is not allowed. Mm, in I uh, I Osterdam understand understand we new new uh -huh. new the value values values of our company so the is excuse yeah. Excuse. Continua. Also, uh -huh. and also is as not allowed. Allowed. Allowed <laughs> to sleep in work hall. You are you are right. It is also it is also not allowed. Hello. Allowed. To allow. To use 
the cell phone in word hours. Okay, very good, perfect, thank you. Now, Carla Daniela and Carlos Humberto. Okay, good morning, Mr. Sea. I want to know about the procedures with the new employee. Well, it can continue with us. I see, is it because of what happened? Yes, we have couch smoking inside the company and it is not our I understand. He knew the values of our company, so there's no excuse. And also it is not allowed to sleep in work hours. You're right. It is also not allowed to use the cell phone in work hours. Okay, very good, perfect. Now, Janet and Laura Fuentes. Good morning, Mr. Sia. I want to know about the process with the new employee. Well, he cannot continue with us. I see it is because of what happened. Yes, we was caught smoking inside the company and it is now allowed. I understand. He knew the values of our company, so there is no excuse. And also it is allowed to sleep in work hours. You are right. It is also not allowed to use the cell phone in work out. Okay, very good, perfect, thank you. Now, Mario Ernesto and Gabriel Lesau. Is possible for you, Gabriel? Mm, creo que no puede. Uh, Kevin Ramiro, is it possible for you? Present teacher. Okay, entonces Mario and Kevin. Okay. Good morning, Mr. Sia. And why do know uh how do about how do about and then producing with procedure procedure with with the next m new m well, he cannot continue with us. It see, I it, see, I see it in Bay Cousy because of what a uh, uh, pop name. Yes, he has. She had. She was hard smoking inside the company, and and it is not allowed. He it I understand. I uh, It came. They buy values. Can you knew the values? And he on the values of our company also sutere in is no excuse and yes. absolute it is no a uh, a job allowed a job come on allowed a job that uh, a cloud uh, it, Sleeps in war hours. You are right. It is also not allowed to use the cell phone in work hours. Okay, very good, perfect. Now, Ivania and Jocelyn. Is possible for you, Jocelyn? Okay, Ivania, le toca entonces con Francisco. 
Okay. Good morning, Mr. Sia. I want to, to know about the pressure with the, the new pressure with the new employee. Well, he cannot continue. Was with us. I see. It, it is because of of what happening. Yes, he was cow smoking inside the company, and it is not allowed. I understand. He knew the value of our company, so there is no excuse. And also, is it is not allowed to sleep, to sleep in work hours. You are right. It is also not allowed to use the cell phone in work hours. Okay, very good. Now let's listen to Saul and Marilyn Alejandra. Good morning, Mr. C. I want to know about the procedures, procedures with the new employee. Well, he cannot continue with use. With us. I see. I see. Is it because of what happened? Yes. He was cough smoking inside the company and it is not allowed. I understand. He knew the values of our company. So there is no excuse. And also it is not allowed to sleep in work hours. You are right. It is also not allowed to use the cell phone in work hours. Okay, very good, perfect. Now, um, let's see, creo que todos, porque los demás han dicho ahí que no pueden, ¿verdad? Andan comprando bubosas. So, uh, let's check some uh, some pronunciation challenges. Uh, let's see. Procedures. Me me Teacher, y no lo vamos a repetir. Si quiere repetir, le doy chance. Porque veo que tenemos problemas en algunas palabras. Sí, sí. sí por si eso hay espacio, vea, si no, no. Ajá. Claro que sí, por supuesto. Vaya, Cristina va a repetir. A ver, le va a ayudar. <laughs> A ver, aquí vamos a ayudarle a Janet. Vaya, Janet le va a ayudar. Vaya, este, sí, porque algunas palabritas sé que tengo, y, y sabemos al, algunos que tenemos problemas con algunas palabritas al pronunciar. Of course. Así no sirve de práctica. Definitivamente. Este, uh, good morning, Mr. Sea. No sé si es Mr. Sea o Mr. Sea. Mr. Sea o Mr. Sea es ok. Okay, good morning, Mr. Sia. I want to know about the procedures with the new employee. Well, he can continue with us. I see it is because of what's happening. Esa me toca. La <laughs> puede decir. Dígala, dígala. Ay, no, Vaya. perdón. Así, no, no, problema, no, pero mejor. No así, pra así practicamos, no hay problema. No, mejor. <laughs> I see is it the cause of what happened. Happened, eh, Beatrice. Happened. Happened. Pero lo estoy diciendo mal porque no lo estoy diciendo en forma de pregunta. I see is it the cause of what happened. Yes, he was caught smoking inside the company and it is not alone. I understand. Así es, teacher, understand. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, understand. 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 I understand he knew the values, the values, así a ver, values, uh -huh. the values of our company. So there is no excuse me, excuse me. Mm. Excuse, there is no excuse. No excuse me, sino que excuse. Ajá, uh -huh. sí, porque no lleva el mí ahí. Ajá, uh -huh, okay, excuse. Uh, uh, also, it is not hallow 
to sleep in work hours. You are right. It is also not allowed to use the cell phone in work hours. Very good, perfect. Teacher, okay. I get this the cell phone or the cell phone? The cell phone. The cell phone, there. okay, uh -huh. gracias. Okay, very good. Alguien más quiere repetir, se puede, verdad? Si alguien más quiere practicar, estamos aquí para practicar, o sea, hay que aprovechar, verdad? Okay, so we are going to check some uh, pronunciation challenges. Ah, veamos, procedures, verdad? Esta le hemos viniendo, la hemos dicho bastantes veces en el módulo, hay que ir puliendo la verdad. Esta es importante. Procedures. Uh, Employee. Esta es una pregunta bien común en inglés. What happened? ¿Verdad? Entonces, es bien común. ¿Y qué significa? Bueno, ya vamos a ver el vocabulario, pero what happened? La pronunciación es what happened. ¿Verdad? Y aquí hay que tener cuidado. Hay varios compañeros que están escuchando que dicen primero it is. It is no es la forma de una pregunta directa. Eh, recordemos que en las preguntas primero va is y después va it. So, is it? Is it because of what happened? La, esa parte es importante. Ok, let's check here. Count. Eh, count. That is the pronunciation. It is not allowed. It is not allowed. Understand. Values. Let's see. Creería que esas son las importantes. También hay que recordar que las palabras que inician con S no se dice una E al principio. No hay que decir, por ejemplo, smoking, ¿verdad? porque no lleva una E. Sería smoking. Esa parte es importante. Esas es en todas, en todas. Y igual con las palabras, el sonido de TH, ¿verdad? The. No es D. No es una D la que lleva, sino que es the. The. Y este tiene dos pronunciaciones. Cuando la palabra que sigue inicia con consonante es the. Cuando la palabra que sigue es un sonido de vocal, entonces the. Ahí está el truco, ¿verdad? The cell phone, the book, the car. Pero si sigue, si la siguiente es eh, con vocal, entonces the. The orange. The eraser, uh, the old. Entonces, esa parte hay que ir, irla viendo, ¿verdad? Yo sé que de repente no lo podemos hacer el cambio solo porque yo se los digo, pero poco a poco el proceso va, ¿verdad? va cambiando y es importante que vayamos poniendo atención. Una de las recomendaciones que yo les doy es que desde ahorita vayan viendo las preposiciones, el uso de las preposiciones. Aquí se ve en una clase, ¿verdad? Una clase, eh, no sé si ya lo vieron en el básico, pero. Hay una clase en la que se explica, ¿verdad? At, on, in, que son las más básicas. Pero todas esas son el equivalente de in en español, ¿verdad? En. O sea, nosotros decimos en la casa y eso sería in the house. Nosotros decimos en el hospital, pero en inglés sería at the hospital. Ya no es in the hospital. Y es bien importante porque, por ejemplo, le voy a poner un ejemplo con esto. Eh, si yo vengo y le digo a alguien, hey, Your mom is in the hospital. Con esa preposición que yo digo in, lo que quiere decir es que la mamá del pobre compañero está hospitalizada, que le pasó algo, que está ingresada. Entonces, si ahí le digo, hey, your mom is at the hospital, quiere decir que anda de visita, ¿verdad? llegó a hacer algo. Entonces, imagínense el impacto que tiene una sola palabra. Si no la usamos correctamente, la otra persona no lo va a entender lo que queremos decir. Entonces, y las preposiciones son uno de los temas un poco más complejos porque en español tenemos bien pocas, ¿verdad? En inglés hay muchas. Hay preposiciones de movimiento como towards, como into. O sea, si yo digo voy a, a entrar en la casa, yo digo en la casa en español. Pero en inglés yo digo I go into the house. Ya no es in, es into. Ahorita son como consejos, ahorita no estamos viendo ese tema, ¿verdad? Pero en la medida de lo posible, 
así como cuando escuchamos al otro compañero hablar y ver las pronunciaciones y las correcciones eh, y agarrar de eso, ¿verdad? No tenemos que estar hablando solamente nosotros, sino que podemos también aprender de los demás, también cuando estamos leyendo, ¿verdad? De hecho, mañana vamos a hacer una lectura interesante porque vamos avanzados. Vamos a leer 12, uh, 12 uh, consejos para aprender inglés. Son lecturas, entonces hay de aprender no solo de los consejos, sino que hay que aprender del vocabulario que vamos a ver. Entonces, poco a poco, ¿verdad? Es bien importante ir depurando esas cosas. Es también importante que se escuchen hablar, ¿verdad? Eh, yo sé que es a veces difícil porque es un idioma totalmente diferente, pero a veces yo le digo, ese se dice así, y me lo vuelve a decir como me lo dijo la primera vez. Entonces, ahí hay que poner atención, ¿verdad? Porque así usted va mejorando eso. Son tips, entonces, para que lo vayan poniendo en práctica, ¿verdad? Porque ya después van a ir llegando al intermedio y, pues, de repente van a andar, como les digo, ya en Nueva York, ¿verdad? Y les tienen que entender los, los gringuitos, ¿verdad? So, it's very, very important. ¿Alguna pregunta o duda? Bueno, vamos a ver el vocabulario. Eso no lo hemos visto. So, uh, what is procedures? Procedimiento. Very good. Uh, what is employee? Empleado. Muy bien. Y para decir empleador, ¿quién me da trabajo? Ok, eso sería employer, con una E. Employer. What is, ahora sí, what is, what happened? Ok, esta está fácil, ¿verdad? Esta es, ¿qué pasó? Si yo vengo y puedo venir donde Carlos y decirle, hey, Carlos, what happened? Entonces, pueden ser muchas cosas, ¿verdad? Puede ser un saludo, puede ser que en verdad le pregunte qué pasó, dependiendo de las circunstancias, pero es, what happened? Ok. Caught. What is caught? Caught is in los, los británicos. Caught. It was caught. Ok. Caught es el pasado de catch. Atrapar. Entonces, él fue atrapado fumando. ¿verdad? Eh, inside. ¿Qué es inside? Como al lado de la compañía. No. No, eso sería aside. Aside ah, sí. es al lado, inside es dentro. Dentro. Ahí andaba fumando dentro, bien campante el compañero. The company, and is not allowed, no es permitido. Habrá compañías que sí lo permiten y otras que no, ¿verdad? Pero hay que seguir las rules. I understand. ¿Qué era? I understand. No entendí. No entiendo, ¿verdad? Very good. He knew the values. ¿Qué era new? Pasado de saber. Él Pasado. no sabía. Very las, good. Ajá. Las, los valores. Los de nuestra valores. Compañía. Muy bien, él entonces. Sabía. Él sabía, ¿verdad? Ya le habíamos dicho, ¿verdad? Los valores de nuestra compañía. So there is no excuse. Creo que esa se entiende. El so tiene muchos usos, ¿verdad? En este caso sería algo así como, así que, así que no hay excusa. O entonces, entonces, no hay excusa. Eso es una de esas palabras que no tiene un significado fijo. Lo que dependiendo de cómo se está usando, así, pues, es como lo vamos a traducir. En also, ¿qué era also? También. También. Y also it is not allowed to sleep in work hours. ¿Qué es sleep in work hours? Dormir en horas de trabajo. Dormir en horas de trabajo. No, ¿verdad? O sea, yo sé que sería nice después de echarse la sopa de frijoles. Echarse un sueñito sería maravilloso, pero pues it's not possible, right? So, eh, you are right. Dice, ¿qué es you are right? Como que tiene razón. Tienes razón, ¿verdad? Aquí otra palabra, ¿verdad? Que right, aquí no es derecha, ¿verdad? Ni derechos, sino que tienes razón. Very good. 
Entonces el pobre compañero hizo muchas cosas que nada que ver. Y era el nuevo, ¿verdad? So, not good. That happens sometimes. Do you have any questions? ¿Alguna pregunta? Ok, good. Now we're going to do the exercise. Vamos a responder de acuerdo al reading. Dice number one. What are some rules in Sandra's company? Uh -huh. What are some rules in Sandra's company? I'm sorry about the noise of the neighbors. Smoking inside the company. Okay, so I said, no it is not allowed to smoke inside the company. Esa sería la primera. Uh -huh. Good, what else? It is not allowed to sleep no. in work hours. Very good. It is not allowed to sleep in work hours. And one more. It is not allowed to use the cell phone in work hours. Very good. That is the other one. It is not allowed to use the cell phone in work hours. Nice. Question number two. What is the problem with a new employee? What is his problem? He was caught smoking inside the company. Uh, yeah, that is one of his problems. Um, yeah, you can say the rule. I mean, he was caught smoking inside the company and also he sleeps in work hours. And also he uses the cell phone and work out. También podemos decir, he didn't follow the rules. No uh -huh. siguió las reglas. O sea, a veces para contestar una pregunta hay muchas maneras de contestarla. El problema es que ya en los exámenes ya es bien puntual ¿verdad? Lo, que, lo que quieren ver. Pero aquí sí, ¿verdad? En cualquier conversación, ustedes le preguntan algo. A veces eso sucede, que queremos decir unas, una respuesta, pero hay una palabra que no sé cómo decirlo. Un truco es, en primer lugar, eh, decirlo de otra manera, ¿verdad? Y en segundo lugar, esa palabra que yo no sabía cómo se dice, ir a buscarla cuando tenga el chance. Good. Uh, number three, are these rules similar to your company? What happens in your company? Is the same? Is it different? What was the question, teacher? Yeah, the question is the number three. Uh, are these rules similar to your company? Yes. Yes, right. So maybe in the most of the companies, the rules are very similar. Well, in my company, for example, it is not allowed to smoke inside the company. But... It is allowed to sleep. Ahí sí se puede dormir, ¿verdad? Hay unos cuartos especiales para ir. No sí, uno dice, bueno, tengo sueño, ¿verdad? Solo que no puedo pasar solo dormido, ¿verdad? Pero un rato. It is. <risa> sí, si no, solo recarga. Sueño. Ajá, recargar y irse, ¿verdad? De regreso. Ok, y it is not allowed to use the cell phone in work hours. Entonces, también esa es una regla. Good. Now, uh, esto ya lo vimos. Esto no lo hicimos. And this is a little reading, okay? So directions and instructions. Reading. Ah, está nice. Vamos a leer. Y está bastante largo. Bien bonito está. So it says, read the following article about giving instructions to staff. Check true or false for the items below. Entonces, para que vean, tienen una idea atrás, abajo hay una, unas preguntas que hay que contestarlas. True or false. 
Okay, as usual, we're, I'm going to read. Please check the pronunciation. Luego ustedes leen y luego vemos vocabulary. Nice. So here we go. Uh, one. Don't assume they know what you mean. You know what they say. That assumption is the mother of all mistakes. Don't be the fool that assumes people know what you mean. With most, with most people in your office or business will be intuitive and switch on. They are not mind readers. An imperative when delivering clear instructions is to not assume the recipient knows what you mean. And this can be for anything from industry acronyms to who to contact in different departments or organizations. It will only take you a few seconds more to explain the details. Two, be clear and specific. Anyone loves a waffle dripping in maple syrup, please. But no one likes a waffle in conversation and especially not in an email or when it is a set of instructions. Whilst you don't want to ramble on in your set of instructions, that would be a waste of your time and, to be honest, they switch off after a while. You do want to ensure that your instructions are clear, specific, concise, and concise. Personally, I prefer not to bury it up and would rather get straight to be the point on what needs to be actioned or delivered rather than making instructions to flowery which will only confuse. Give, uh, three, give time frames. Do not confuse matters by not being specific with your time frames and deadlines. What you consider as soon might be very different from your colleagues. If you think soon is the next couple of hours, yet your staff who you have instructed consider it to be in a few days, then this communication is going to have serious implications in any business or project. Four, give examples. Whenever possible, make sure you give examples. This will be especially beneficial if they are new to the role or if they haven't carried out the task before. This will help to add clarity to your instructions and help form a clearer picture of what it is you mean and want. Stay en fácil, hombre. All right. Vamos a chequear en los primeros dos pronunciation. Any pronunciation question in the first two? Pronunciation questions. As soon as. Uh, perdón, ¿cuál? As soon in the first. Mm -hmm. Second. Second line. That assumes. 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 Uh -huh. Good. Any other question? Assumption. 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 Okay. Assumption. Good. Any other question? Acronyms, teacher, in la dos cuatro cinco, la quinta línea de la primera. Yeah, acronyms. 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 Okay.
Any other question? La que está donde dice will be intuitive. Sí, es verdad. Intuitive and switched. Yeah, Así intuitive es. and switch. Uh -huh. Intuitive and switch. Okay, any other? Wish. Wist. Es la primera, creo que le falta la L. Esta primera letra, palabra no está bien escrita. Tendría que ser así, whilst. Any other in the number one or number two? Pronunciation question. Teacher, después donde dice will be in two. Arriba en la primera. En la primera. Okay. Will, will be in two bit. In. Uh, intuitive. Intuitive. Intuitive and switch on. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Any other? Teacher. Uh -huh. um, uh, le estaba haciendo una consulta de esa, de esa frase que está ahí, driving in maple syrup, please. Syrup. O sea, syrup, dripping, please. Ajá, dripping dripping. In maple o maple. Yeah, maple o maple. Syrup. Syrup, please. Ok. Thank uh -huh. you. Good. ¿Qué sería rather o rather? Rather. Any other? Okay, let's check number three and four. Do you have pronunciation questions? Después de donde dice eh, with your time en la primera línea. With your time frames. Time frames. frames. Mm -hmm. frames. En, y ahí después de end. Uh, deadlines. Deadlines. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Good. Any other pronunciation question? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. After this will be especially uh, Bene beneficial. Beneficial, yeah. Mm -hmm. And it says if they haven't carried out. Uh -huh. If they haven't carried out. Carried out. Sorry. Okay, anybody else have another question in pronunciation? Okay, vamos a leerlo. Está un poco largo, pero tenemos tiempo. So, vamos a iniciar con, a ver, Carlos ya me había dicho que él quería leer primero. Vamos a escuchar a Carlos Humberto entonces.
Ok. Eh, ¿Sería el primero, verdad? Serían todos. ¿Todos, todos? Yep. Ok. Bueno. De modo. Va a sacrificar. De practicar. Yeah, let's do it. Ok. Eh, number one. Dot assume the, they know what you mean. You know what they say. Uh, that assumption is the uh, mother of all mistakes. Don't be the fool that assume people know what you mean. Will uh, most people in your office or business will be interested and switch to on. They are not mind readers and in an imperative when delivering clear instructions is to not assume the receipt the recipient knows that you mean and this can before anything from industry acronyms acronyms ever acronyms yeah okay acronyms too much to contact in different departments organizations it, it will only take you a few seconds more to explain the details. Number two, be clear and specific. Everyone loves a waffle dripping in maple syrup, please. But not one likes waffles in conversation and especially not in an email or when it is a set of instructions. Which you don't want to rumble on in your set of instructions that will be a waste of your time and to be honest, they to switch off after a while. You do want to ensure that your instructions are clear, specific, and concise. Personally, concise. concise. Okay. Personally, I prefer do not bottle it up and would rather get straight to be the point on that needs to be actioned or delivered rather uh, than making the instruction to flowery, which will only confuse. Number three, give time frames. Do not confuse matter by not being specific with your time frames and deadlines. What you consider as soon might be very different from your colleagues. If you think soon in the next couple of hours, get your staff who you have instructions, instruct, consider it to be in a few days, then this communication is going to have serious implications in any business or project. Number four, give ex examples. Whatever possible, make sure you give examples. This will be specifically beneficial in they are new to the rule or if they haven't carried out the task before. This will help to add clarity to your instructions and help form a clearly picture of what is your mean and what. Very, very good. Perfect. Thank you. Now, Jeanette. No, estuvo muy fluido, fíjese. Lo corregí una o dos veces, so it was very nice. Very good. Siento que me falta. Sí, es un proceso, ¿verdad? Pero la verdad es que para estar en este nivel, nice. Igual, pues todos estamos en un nivel diferente y todos vamos avanzando a nuestro ritmo. Entonces, eh, sí, hay personas que les cuesta un poco más la lectura y a veces es mejor entendiendo. Son cosas que pasan, ¿verdad? So, but it was very good reading. Very nice. Ok. Yeah. Right. Don't uh, assume they know what you mean. Do not what they say. What is assumption in the moral of all mistake? Uh, 
Don't be the fool. That as soon people know what you mean. With most people in your office or business will be in in will be intuitive. 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 Tweet. Would be in in with chat. Um, they are not mean mind. writers. Men. Mind readers. Mind readers. And imperative with delivering clear instruction into now in soon the respite recited knows what you mean. I this can be for anything from from industry acronyms to who to contact in different departments for organization, I will only take to- It will. It will only take to, it will only take you a five- Few. Few second more to in play in the tiles. Uh, number two, be clear and specific. Specific. Spe specific. Specific. Um, everyone loves a waffle. Dripping in waffle served, please. But no one likes waffle in conversation in a special especially especially not in email or when it is a set of instruction will you don't I want to rebel in, in in your set of instruction what will be a what waste waste that will be a waste of your time and to be honest, they date a witch out of their They switch. Mm -hmm. Take switch or after a world. A while. A while. A while. A while. Do you want to ensure that your instructions are clear, it's specific, and concise? Concise. Concise personally, I prefer not to bother it at in a, a world writer get a try to be the point on what needs to be action 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 or deliberate the writers that marking the instruction to lower it with will only push confuse 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 get time right do not confuse murders be no base Bye. specific but Bye. specific specific with your time frames and date lines, what you considered as soon make Mike. Be, Mike be be very different from your colleagues. If you think soon is the next couple of hours yet yours, is that who you have instructed? Instructions consider it to be in five few day few few day the this communication was going to have serious impli implication in any business or project. Get a sample. Never, never, whenever. Whenever, whenever possible, make sure you get example. This will be especially beneficial if they are new the role, if they have a out 
the test before. This will help to add clarity to your instruction and help for a clear pictures, pictures of what it is you need and want. Okay, very good, perfect. Thank you, Jeanette. Eh, Cara Daniela. Okay. Don't assume they know what you mean. You know what they say. The assumption is the mother of all mistakes. Don't be the fool that assumes people know what you mean. Which most people in your office or business will be interested and switch on. They are not mind readers and imperative when delivering clear instructions is to not assume the recipient knows what you mean. And this can't be for anything from industry acronyms to who to contact in different departments or organizations. It will only take you a few seconds more uh, uh, to explain the details. Be clear and specific. Everyone loves a waffle written in apple cider, please. But no one likes waffle in conversation, and especially not in a mail or when it is a set of instructions. With you don't want to rumble on with your set of, in of instructions. That will be a waste of your time. And to be honest, they switch off after a while. You do want to ensure that your instructions are clear, specific, and concise. Personally, I prefer not to bother it up and would rather get straight to be the point of what needs to be actioned or delivered, rather than making the instructions too flowery, which will only confuse. Uh, give examples. Whenever possible, make sure you give examples. These will be especially beneficial if they are new to the role, or if they haven't carried out their task before. This will help to add clarity to your instructions and help from a clearer picture of what it, what it is you mean and want. Okay, so what is the number three? In serio. Ah, well, no, ahorita voy. Okay. <laughs> Do not confuse matters by not being specific with your time frames and deadlines. You consider a soon might be very different from your colleagues. If you think soon is the next couple of hours, get your staff who you have instructed consider it to be in a few days, then this communication is going to have serious implications in any business or project. Very good, perfect. Thank you, Carla Daniela. Okay, Cristina Cerritos. Okay, teacher. Ahorita. Don't assume, assume, think now what you mean. You know what they say that assumption. Is the mother all our mistakes? Don't be for that assume, assume. People Assumes. now do what you assume. Assume. Assume people mm, now what you mean with most people in your office or business will be in prepared. Intuitive, huh? Um, it is, uh, um, it's with, um, they are no mind reader. My reader. Um, in my reader. Mind, but it's mute, it's mind. 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 
my, my reader, okay. An um, imperative when delivering clear instruction is to not ask the recipient now what your mean, what you mean, as this can be for a meeting from industry acronym to uh, to contact to contact in different departments or organizations. It will only take you a few seconds more to explain the, de the details. 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 Okay. So there an specific specific. Be clear and specific. Everyone loves uh, waffle, dripping, waffle, waffle. Waffle. Yeah. Okay. Everyone loves uh, waffle dripping in maple syrup. 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 Back. But no one like waffle waffle waffle. But no one like waffle in conversation and uh, especially not in an email or when it is a set of description. We do don't want to ramble on in your set or description that would be a one waste. Waste a uh, waste of your time and um, to be honest, they sweet of us. After, of after a while, why? 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 You do want to ensure that your instruction ensure are, uh, ensure 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 that your instruction are clear, specific, specific, and concise, concise, concise. Mm -hmm. Uh, personally, I prefer not to bother it up. I would rather just try to be the point on what needs, no, uh, on what needs to be action or delivery rather than making the instruction to flowers, which will only confuse or confuse. Confuse. Confused. Okay. Uh, give it. Give, give. give it time, friends. Give. Give time, friends. Friends. Do not confuse. Friends. Give. Give. Time, friends. Do not confuse. Mal, uh, matter of me. Matters. Matters. Do not confuse. Matter. Be not by be, be by no being no being. Uh -huh. being by no being specific specific with your time frame um the deadlines deadline what you consider as to might be very different from your colleague. Co colleagues. Song, colleagues. Um, okay. From your colleagues, if you think or think. Think. If you, if you think soon, soon. If the, soon. If you think soon, if the, uh, if the next couple. 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 Of how that your staff would you have instruction considered in to be a fit day, day. The same this communication is going to have serious implications in any business or project. Uh, so, give me example. Give example. When Whenever, whenever. Whenever, yeah. 
whenever possible. Make sure to give good beer examples. This will be especially beneficial. 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 If they are used to the error, or if they have have an option, have haven't carried. Having care of the tax therefore, this will help to add clarity to do instruction and help for um clear picture picture, picture. Mm -hmm. or picture of what is it is of what it is to me and one. Very good, perfect. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Nice. Now Laura, Laura Fuentes. Uh, number one, don't ask, assume they know what you mean. You know what they say that assumes is the assumption. mother of our assumption is the mother of our mistakes. Don't be the fool that assumes people know what you mean. With most people in your office or business will be in intuitive and switch on the are not mean readers mind readers mind readers and imperative when delivering clear instruction is to not assume they receive receive them know what you mean and this can be for anything from industry acronyms to who to contact in different departments or organization it will only take you a few seconds more to explain the details number two be clear and specific everyone loves a waffle loves Three. a waffle Loves a waffle, dripping in maple syrup, please. But uh, but no one likes waffle in conversation, and especially not in an email or when it is a set of instruction. Whilst you don't, whilst whilst you don't want to um ¿cómo sería ahí? rumble rumble on in yourself on instruction that will be a ways of your team and to be honest they switch off after a while you do want to ensure that your instructions are clear, specific, and concise. Personally, I prefer not to bother it up and go rather get a strain to be the point on what needs to be actioned action or delivery rather than making the instruction to flower with will only confuse number three time frame frames give time frames time frames do not confuse matters be not based by mind Mind be no vain specific with your time frames and 
the, the lines what you consider as soon might be very different from your college. colleagues. Colleagues. If you think Zoom is the next couple of couples of hours, yet your staff who you have instructed considered it to be in a few days, then this communication is going to have serious implication in any business or project. Number four, give example whenever possible, make sure we you give example, this will be especially beneficially if they are new to their role or if they haven't carried all the tax before. This will help to add clarity to your instruction and help from a clear picture of what it is you mean and want. Very good, perfect. Okay, now uh, Mario Ernesto. Okay. Number one, don't assume that, don't assume they know what, what you mean. You know what you, you know what you say that assumption is the mother of our mistake. Don't be too fool that assumes people know what you mean. With most people in your office or business will be in the and switch it on. They are not mean readers. Mind reader. An mind reader. An imperative when delivering their instruction is to not assume the recipient know what to mean. And this can for can be for anything from industry acronyms to who to contact in different departments organization. It will only take you a few seconds more to explain the details. Number two, be clear and specific. Every John loves a woman. Everyone. Everyone loves a woman. Repeating in my presidio, please. Side Please. But no one likes waffle in conversation and especially not in an email or when it is seat of description. Wills, you don't want to rumble. Or in your, come on. Rumble. Rumble. Or in your set or instruction. That will be a waste. Waste. Of your time and to be honest, they switch off after a while. You don't want to ensure that your instructions are clear, specific, and concise. Personally, I prefer not to bother it up. I would rather get straight to be the point on what needs to be accounted or delivered, rather than making the instruction too flowery, which will which which will only confuse. Number three, guy, give time frames. Do not confuse mother by not. Being, being being specific with your time frames and deadlines. 
what you consider as sound might be very different from your colleague. Colleague. Is you, colleague, you think song is the next book of hours that your staff could you have instructed consider it in to be a few days then this communication is going to have serious implication in any business or project. Give examples whenever possible. 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 Make sure, make sure to give examples. This will be especially beneficial if they are new, if they are new to the role, if they haven't carried out the tax before. This will help to add clarity to your instruction and help from a clear, clearer picture of what it is you mean and want. Very good, perfect, thank you, Mario. Uh, Elia, Janira. Okay. Don't assume they know what you mean. You know what they say. That assume something is the mother of all mistake. Don't be be too for that assume people know what you mean. Will most people in your office or business will be intuitive? Intuitive. Intuitive. And which, which is on. They are not mean reader. Mind readers. Um, Perdón. Mind readers. Mind reader. And in probably when delivering delivering clear instruction is is to not some the receipt now that what you mean and this can be for anything for industrial according to who to contact in different department organization in it will only take you a few second more to explain the details. 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 Be clear and specific. Every one. Low waffle drip, dripping in maple. Mm -hmm. Sayo. Please. Bow no, no one like waffle in conversation and especially not in email or when is set of instruction. Will you don't when to rumble. Rumble. Mm -hmm. rumble. On in your set set of instruction that will be waste 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 of your day time and to be honest they wish of other will which of which of you do when to ensure that you instruction are clear, specific, and considered personal, precise. In prefer not to better it up. Así se dice ahí, it up. Better it up, yeah. It up. And would rather get a string to be the point on what need to be action or delivered 
rather than that, that making the instructions to flow flowing. ¿Cómo se dice ahí, teacher? Flowing. Flowing. Which will only confuse. 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 Give it time frame. Yeah. Friends. Do not conf confuse. 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 Mother be not by. Pay. By not being. <laughs> Mother by not vegan. Being. Be specific. We you time frames and the lines. What you consider awesome. Assume. We assume. Meet be. My be. Ver, my verb. Different from. Col, ¿Cómo dijo ahí? Colis. 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 Is you think. Soon is the need, net, next. Couple, next. Next. Couplets. Of four. Hours. Yes, you are. Yes, or stop. Who you have instruct, instruction considered is to be in fleet day. Then this communication is going to have serious implication any business or project. Um, here we give example. Give example. Uh, when, whenever pos possible, make sure you give, give. example. Give. <laughs> this will be a specific, special, mm -hmm. special, beneficial in the art new to crawl. Of is they heaven. haven't uh, having uh, carried out the dust before. This will help to add clarity to you instruction and help for clear, clear, clear picture, clear picture of what is you mean. And one. Very good, perfect, thank you. Let's check uh, Gabriel Esau. Not possible, okay, let's check then Ivania. Okay, so, Yes, please. Okay, so, as you they know what you mean. You know what they say, the assumption is the model of all mistakes. And don't be the fault that assume people know what you mean, which most people in your office or business will be in trying and switch it on. Oh, there are not my readers in imperative when deliver, delivering clear. Intrusion is not assume the recipient now what you mean. And this can be for anything from industry across to how to content in different departments or organi organizations. It will only take you a few seconds more to explain the, the, the details. Yes. Be clear and specific. Everyone loves a waffle, dripping in maple syrup, please. Syrup. Syrup. Please. Uh, but not one. 
when like waffles in conversation and especially not in email email or when it is it is a set of of instruction we list to you don't want to ramble, ramble or in your set of ramble then teach or in your set of instruction that will be a, a waste of your time and to be honest they switch off after a while you don't want to ensure ensure that your instruction uh, are clear specific and consist personally concise. I prefer concise concise personally I prefer not to butter it up and work that rather 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 yeah rather get straight to be the point on what needs to be action or delivery rather than making the instruction to flowery which will only confuse and then give me time frames give time frames give time frames Friends. Friends. In time, friends. Don't not confuse matters by not being specific with your time from friends. 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 And uh, deadline. Deadline. Deadlines. Deadlines. What you consider a song. Might be very different from your colleagues. Colleagues. It should college. It should sing song. Is the next couple of hours. There you stop or you have instruction. Consider it to be in few days. Then this communication is going to have serious implications in any business or project. Give examples. Whenever possible, make sure you give an example. This will be especially beneficial if they are new to the role of, or if they haven't cut. Carriers. Carriers. Of the task that before, this will help to add clarity. Clarity. Do your instruction and help for a clear picture of what you mean and when. Very good. Perfect. Thank you, uh, Ivania. Let's see, Francisco. Okay, teacher. Okay. Let's assume they know what you mean. You know what they say that assumption is the mother of all, of all mistake. Doesn't be fool that assumes people. Assumes. assumes. Thank you. People know what you mean with more with most people in your office or busy will be intuitive and switches on they switch are on. not sorry switch on switch on they are not means reader mind readers mind readers mm -hmm. and imperative when delivering clear instruction is to not assume the 
recipient. 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 Now, what you mean? And this can be for anything from industry, acronyms, to go to contact in different department or organi organization. It will only take you a few second more to explain the detail. Second, be clear and specific. Everyone loves a guapé drinking in maple syrups, please. Syrup. Syrup. But no one likes guapé in conversation, and especially no Italian. For when it is a set of introduction, while it's to whilst doesn't go to combo. Sorry? Yeah, whilst. Whilst mm -hmm. doesn't go to rumbles. One, one in your set of introduction that will be a waste of your time and to be honest. They switch of affair to while. You don't want to ensure that your instruction are clear, specific, and concise personally. I prefer not to bear it up and go that get strange to be the point on what need to be auction or deliver writers the making the instruction to flowery, which will only confuse. Okay. Number three, give time primer. Frames. Frames. Do not confuse matter by not being specific while your time frame and timeline what you consider as soon might, might be very different from your college colleagues in your dean colleagues if you dean soon is the next couples of hers the your staff could you have to consider and to be in a few days then then this communication is going to be have serious implication is an advice or <laughs> project business Number four, give an example. Whenever possible, make sure you give example. This will be especially beneficial if they if they are new to the rule or if they even haven't. Sorry? Haven't. Haven't. Carry. Or the change before. This will help to add clarity to your instruction and help from a clear picture of what is you mean and want. Very good, perfect. Thank you, Francisco. Thank you, uh, teacher. Let's see. Available in list song, not possible for you, right? Okay. Uh, let's check then Marilyn Alejandra. Okay, first, don't assume they know what you mean. You know what they say, that assumption in the mother of all mistakes. Don't be the fool that assumes people know what you mean. Whilst most people, if your office or business will be intuitive, intuitive 
and switch on. Switch on. They are mean. Perdón. Switch on. Switch on. Okay. They are not mean readers. My readers. An imperative. Mind readers. An imperative when delivering. Clear instruction is to not assume the recipient knows what you mean. And this can be for anything from industry acronyms to who to contact in different departments or organization. It will only take you a few seconds more to explain the details. Second, be clear and specific. Everyone loves a guap dripping in mobile zipper, please. Side up. But no one likes, pardon? Side up, maple side up. Okay. Dripping in maple side up, please. But no one likes waffle in conversation and especially, and especially not in an email or when it is a set of instruction. Whilst you don't want to ramble on if your set of extrusion, what would, would be a waste of your time? And to be honest, they switch off after a while. You don't want to ensure that your instructions are clear, specific, and concise. Personality, I prefer not Pardon? concise okay and concise personality i prefer not to bore it bore it up and will rather get strain to be the point on what need to be actioned on delivered rather than making the extrusion to Lower which will only confuse. Clear. Give time frames. Do not confuse. Do not confuse matter by not being specific with your time frames and the ala como se pronuncia ese? Deadlines. And deadline. What you consider as some might be far different from your college. If you think some is the next couple of hours, yet your staff who you have structured considered it to be in a few days then this communication is going to have serious implication in any business or project. And give examples. Whenever possible, make sure you give examples. This will be a specific, specially beneficial if they are new to the role or if they haven't career of the of the test before this will help to add clarity to your instruction and help form a clearer picture of what what it is you mean and want very good perfect thank you eh, creía que los demás no pueden verdad están busy ahí so uh, a lot of words here, a lot of vocabulary and a lot of things. Let's check uh, uh, pronunciation first. So, assume, remember, assume, assumption. Let's see. Uh, switch on, switched on. Mind readers. Recipient.
waffle, syrup, maple, whilst, rumble, waste, ensure, butter it up, rather, flowery, confused, colleagues, Soon. Let's see. Okay, let's say it in pronunciation. Let's check the vocabulary. What is to assume? Asumir. Asumir, very good. Okay. What do you mean? What is what you mean? Okay, lo que quiere decir, or lo que tú quieres decir, something like that. Uh, this uh, assumption is the mother of all mistakes. ¿Qué dice ahí? Asumir es la madre de todos los errores. Very good. Asumir es la madre de todos los errores. Y sí, verdad, eso es cierto. Digo una cosa y no me aseguro que el otro entendió. And uh, problems come, right? Uh, full, what is full? Tonto. Tonto, very good. Eh, esta está mal escrita, la vamos a ver más adelante. Esa yo creo que se entiende que es intuitivo, ¿verdad? Intuitive. Switched on. Que anda siempre encendido, ¿verdad? Siempre anda ahí agarrando todo. Eh, mind readers. What is mind readers? Hey, mind readers. Uh -huh. Ah, pensé que iba a alguien. Okay. Mind reader sería como uh, alguien que lee la mente, ¿verdad? Pues no lee la mente de la otra persona. ¿verdad? Hay que estar seguros. Uh, delivering. What is delivering? Dar. Dar. ¿verdad? Okay. Dar o algo así como el delivery, ¿se acuerdan cuando llevan su pedido de claro ya? Clean instructions, entonces enviar o entregar instrucciones claras. Let's see. Acronyms, what is acronyms? Siglas. Siglas, very good. Es como cuando decimos, no sé, una empresa, ECO, por ejemplo, ¿verdad? que son siglas, ah, un acrónimo. And that's it. Uh, number two, be clear and specific. Okay. Yo creo que todos sabemos que es un waffle, right? A ver, maple syrup, what is that? Jarabe de arce. Jarabe de arce, very good, nice. Let's see. Whilst, ahora sí. Anybody? Sí, mm, it could be something like that. En este caso es como algo así como ya que, o dado que, something like that. 
Rumble. What is Rumble? Okay. Retumbar. Set. What is set? Set es como un juego de un, un juego, como un, una colección de algo, ¿verdad? Entonces aquí es un juego de instrucciones. Igual recordemos que le estoy dando el significado de cómo va allí en ese párrafo, ¿verdad? Pero si digo get set, es alístate, ¿verdad? So, ahí ya cambia. What is waste? Desperdiciar. Desperdiciar, desperdicio de tu tiempo. Dice. Ya vemos que switch off, bueno, switch off es apagado, switch on es encendido. A while, what is a while? Un momento. Un rato, muy bien. Ensure, what is ensure? I don't know. Okay, ensure es asegurarse. To be sure something happens. Let's see, concise. What is concise? Conciso. Conciso, very good. Okay, not to butter it up. What is butter it up? Irse por las ramas. Esta es bien como un would rather. ¿Qué es would rather? Eso sí no sé. Sería preferiría. Preferiría. So, get straight. ¿Se acuerdan que era get straight? Y recto. Very good. Let's see. To flowery. What is flowery? Florida. Ah, muy florido, ¿verdad? Se pone tanto de más que no se entiende ya. Eh, luego dice matters. What is matters? Importa. Importa. Do not confuse matters by not being specific. Luego dice time frames. ¿Qué es un time frame? Plazo. Un plazo, very good. Y deadline, ¿qué sería entonces? Fecha de entrega. Fecha de entrega, okay. fecha okay. límite. What is soon? Pronto, ¿verdad? Como en las películas que dicen, coming soon, viene pronto. Colleagues, what is colleagues? Colegas. Colegas, que no es lo mismo que college, ¿verdad? College es un colegio, una universidad. ¿Se acuerdan que era a few? Varios. Varios, unos cuantos. Good. Clarity. What is clarity? Claridad. Ok. Do you have any other question here? ¿Alguna otra pregunta? No, teacher. I don't have any more. Ok. Let's do the exercise here then. According to the article. Dar marcos de tiempo no con. Ok. 
According to the article, it's fine to make assumptions. It's true or false? False. False. Definitely it's not true. It is important to go straight to the point to be clearer. Number two. True. Very good. That is true. Number three. People will get confused with the directions if we use too many words. Yeah, it can be. Yeah, actually it is true. Nice. Number four, to avoid misunderstanding, one should be very clear in time frames. True. That is true, very good. It is fine if the employees make a mistake. Later, we can show examples. Mm, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué dice el público? False. False. Definitely that is false. Very good. Perfect. Nice. Esto fue un reading bien nice. Y pues también hay que tratar cuando leemos. Recordemos de que estamos como contando una historia. Entonces, eh, hay que leer así como eh, con la puntuación, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, el número uno, solo eso voy a leer. Don't assume they know what you mean. You know what they say. That assumption is the mother of all mistakes. Don't be the fool that assumes people know what you mean. Whilst most people in your office or business will be intuitive and switched on, they are not mind readers. An imperative when delivering clear instructions is to not assume the recipient knows what you mean. And this can be for anything from industry acronyms to who to contact in different departments or organizations. It will only take you a few seconds more to explain the details. Usamos una puntuación, una entonación, subimos, bajamos, cosas por el estilo. Esas cosillas son importantes a la hora de la lectura. Poco a poco, pues, vamos a ir llegando. Do you have any questions? No, teacher, thank you. Ok, preguntas con la clase de ahora. No questions. Claro como la horchata. Ahora leyeron mucho. That's good. All right, we're going to check the attendance and then we're going to go and rest. Tomorrow is Friday. T-J-I-F. So, uh, Abel Edenilson Salazar Melara. Present teacher. Abigail Elizabeth Flores Hernández. Carlos Humberto Estrada Escobar. Good. Elia Janira Canizales Blanco. Present teacher. Good. Francisco Ernesto Acuña Rivera. Present teacher. Good. Gabriel Esaú Melara Rosales. Gisela Beatriz Hernández Morales. Joana Saraí Maldonado González. Carla Daniela Molina Cruz. Yes. Present. Good. Carla Ivania Anaya Ancheta. Present. Good. Carla Lorena Mendoza Guevara. Present. Good. Kevin Ramiro Vázquez Pineda. Present. Good. Laura Guadalupe Fuentes de Meléndez. Present. Good. Marilyn Alejandra Grande Pérez. Present. Good. Mario Ernesto López Ramírez. Present. Good. Mirna Janet Ángel de Castro. Present teacher. Good. 
Roberto Emilio González Cruz. Santos Cristina Cerritos de Ruiz. Presente, Chef. Good. Saúl Adalberto Cornejo Valdés. Jocelyn Stephanie Roldán Castaneda. Perfect. Ok, el 101 de ahora es para Carla Daniela Molina. So, my friends, it was a pleasure. Thank you to be here with us tonight. I hope you have a very good night and see good you night. tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Hello, Isel. Do you have any questions? Hello, can you hear me? Hello, Giselle. Can you hear me? Do you have any questions? Do you need help? <laughs> 